Skills Builder for Young Learners Flyers 1 by Jenny Dooley Copyright Express Publishing All Rights Reserved Hello, this is Skills Builder for Young Learners, Flyers 1, Unit 3. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Do you like the photo I took this morning, Aunt Sophia? It's our bus stop. Oh yes, it looks busy. Do you know any of these people? Yes, I know most of them. The woman who's holding the baby is Vicky. She looks worried. Yes, the baby was hungry and the bus was late. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. And look, that's May on the bike. The girl with the spotted sweater? Yes. The one who's cycling very fast. I can see that. Is she in your school? Yes, she's in my swimming team. She's always hurrying. Who's that boy by the bus stop? The one with both hands in his pockets. No, not him. The one who is whispering to him. That's Jim. He lives next door to me. Oh, that's right. I remember him. You met him at my party. Can you see the boy with the tablet? Yes. He's got a blue computer bag over his shoulder. That's my best friend, Oliver. He just got that tablet for his birthday. That's a nice present. Yes, it is. He's very careful with it. He doesn't want to break it. Do you know the police officer who is writing something? No, but I know the blonde girl he is looking at. The one running to the bus stop? Yes, her name's Holly. She's in my class. Well, I hope she was careful. You mustn't run across the street without looking. What about the woman carrying the bag of food? Who's that? Oh. That's Kim. She works in my school. Why does she look so unhappy? Well, her mum is sick. Oh dear. I hope she gets better soon. Now listen to part one again. And look, that's May on the bike. The girl with the spotted sweater? Yes. The one who's cycling very fast. I can see that. Is she in your school? Yes, she's in my swimming team. She's always hurrying. Who's that boy by the bus stop? The one with both hands in his pockets. No, not him. The one who is whispering to him. That's Jim. He lives next door to me. Oh, that's right. I remember him. You met him at my party. Can you see the boy with the tablet? Yes, he's got a blue computer bag over his shoulder. That's my best friend, Oliver. He just got that tablet for his birthday. That's a nice present. Yes, it is. He's very careful with it. He doesn't want to break it. Do you know the police officer who is writing something? No, but I know the blonde girl he is looking at. The one running to the bus stop? Yes, her name's Holly. She's in my class. Well, I hope she was careful. You mustn't run across the street without looking. What about the woman carrying the bag of food? Who's that? Oh, that's Kim. She works in my school. 
Why does she look so unhappy? Well, her mum is sick. Oh dear. I hope she gets better soon. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello and welcome to New Age Radio. On the programme today, we have the young woman who won our singing competition last week. Hello. My name is Holly. Thank you for inviting me. Could you spell that for us, please? The people listening will need to remember your name when you're famous. <laughs> All right. That's H-O-L-L-Y. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. We loved your song, Holly. Can you tell us what it's called? Yes. I sang Dark November. I wrote it myself. It sounds like this is a song about the weather, is it? It does sound like that, but it's not. My best friend was away for all that month last year. I felt sad and alone without her. Well, we're happy that you wrote the song. Me too. But the other songs on my new CD are not as unhappy as this one. It's got 12 songs, and you can hear them all in my next concert. That's great news for us. When is your next concert, then? It's in two weeks, on the 2nd of May. It's a Tuesday. Cool. Put that date in your calendar, boys and girls, and get your tickets now. Wait a minute. We need to say where it is, don't we? Of course. Tell us, Holly, where is it? It's at the South City Stadium near the university. I'd love to see you all there. Now listen to part two again. We loved your song, Holly. Can you tell us what it's called? Yes. I sang Dark November. I wrote it myself. It sounds like this is a song about the weather, is it? It does sound like that. But it's not. My best friend was away for all that month last year. I felt sad and alone without her. Well, we're happy that you wrote the song. Me too. But the other songs on my new CD are not as unhappy as this one. It's got 12 songs, and you can hear them all in my next concert. That's great news for us. When is your next concert, then? It's in two weeks, on the 2nd of May. It's a Tuesday. Cool. Put that date in your calendar, boys and girls, and get your tickets now. Wait a minute. We need to say where it is, don't we? Of course. Tell us, Holly, where is it? It's at the South City Stadium near the university. I'd love to see you all there. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Emma learn about in each subject at school today? How are you, George? Are you better now? Yes, I can go back to school tomorrow. Tell me about today. Was the English class good? Oh, it was great. I thought the teacher would make us read stories again, but she showed us how to use dictionaries instead. Homework is going to be much easier now. Cool. Can you see the letter H? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What about science? I was quite bored when we started. We had to complete our homework from yesterday about the ocean. But then Mr Stone taught us about glass. Did you know it's made from sand? No, I didn't. How strange. I know, right? And music class? How long is our concert going to be? Did Miss June say? Yes, it's going to be an hour and it's going to be about space. So we looked for information on the internet and learnt all about the planets and the sounds they make. That's why we decided to use a lot of drums. And that wasn't the last time we talked about space today. In the next class, 
We learnt the stories of famous astronauts and their spaceships, their names, where they travelled, and things like that. In history, wow! Now I'm sorry I wasn't there. So, what other interesting things did you learn while I was sick? Well, we got back our projects about streams and rivers, but the new lesson was about deserts. Did you know that some of them were oceans many, many years ago? Geography is amazing. I know. It's my favorite subject. It's mine too. Now. Art class was outside today, wasn't it? Where did you go? Not very far. We walked to the park. Mrs. Weeks wanted us to study the pond. We learned the names of the little insects who live there. Then we practiced drawing them. We're going to show our pictures in the school entrance next week. Oh no! What will I do? Don't worry. I'll help you. Now listen to part three again. What about science? I was quite bored when we started. We had to complete our homework from yesterday about the ocean, but then Mr. Stone taught us about glass. Did you know it's made from sand? No, I didn't. How strange! I know, right? And music class? How long is our concert going to be? Did Miss June say? Yes, it's going to be an hour, and it's going to be about space. So we looked for information on the internet and learnt all about the planets and the sounds they make. That's why we decided to use a lot of drums. And that wasn't the last time we talked about space today. In the next class, we learnt the stories of famous astronauts and their spaceships, their names, where they travelled, and things like that. In history, wow! Now I'm sorry I wasn't there. So, what other interesting things did you learn while I was sick? Well, we got back our projects about streams and rivers. But the new lesson was about deserts. Did you know that some of them were oceans many, many years ago? Geography is amazing. I know. It's my favorite subject. It's mine too. Now. Art class was outside today, wasn't it? Where did you go? Not very far. We walked to the park. Mrs. Weeks wanted us to study the pond. We learnt the names of the little insects who live there. Then we practiced drawing them. We're going to show our pictures in the school entrance next week. Oh no! What will I do? Don't worry. I'll help you. That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What job does Holly's dad do? What are you doing, David? Working on a project? Oh, hi, Holly. Yes, I have to write about the jobs of my friends and family, and bring photos to class. That's my dad. Oh, he's a firefighter. Nice. And who's that? My uncle. He's a pilot. You know, you could write about my dad too. He's a police officer. Good idea. I'll write about people wearing uniforms at work. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What did her dad do before he started this job? My dad wasn't always a police officer. Oh, what did he do before that? Well, after he finished school, he wanted to go to university, but it was too expensive. Did he go to college then? No, there's no college in our town. He worked in a sports center. Two. What does her dad do at work? So. Does your dad work at the police station? No, he has a special job. He works outside.
I know. He helps with the traffic. No, silly. He rides a huge motorbike and keeps important people safe. That's so cool. Three. How does her dad get to work? Does your dad bring his motorbike home? I want to see it. No, it has to stay at the police station. How does he get to work then? By bus? No, one of the other police officers lives opposite our house. He's got a car. Oh, I see. He gives him a lift then. Yes. Four. When is her dad's birthday? His friends at the police station are having a surprise party for my dad's birthday this year. Really? When is it? In August, on the 16th. And when is your birthday? On the 12th of December. And yours? In April, on the 28th. 5. What will Holly get her dad for his birthday? Have you decided on a present for your dad? Well, I was thinking about buying him a belt, but Mum said he has a lot of those. How about getting him a torch? He could use one of those. No, all the police officers have them. I know. You can get him tickets to a football match. Great idea. I'll do that. Thanks. Now listen to part four again. 1. What did her dad do before he started this job? My dad wasn't always a police officer. Oh, what did he do before that? Well, after he finished school, he wanted to go to university, but it was too expensive. Did he go to college then? No, there's no college in our town. He worked in a sports centre. 2. What does her dad do at work? So, does your dad work at the police station? No, he has a special job. He works outside. I know. He helps with the traffic. No, silly. He rides a huge motorbike and keeps important people safe. That's so cool. 3. How does her dad get to work? Does your dad bring his motorbike home? I want to see it. No, it has to stay at the police station. How does he get to work then? By bus? No, one of the other police officers lives opposite our house. He's got a car. Oh, I see. He gives him a lift then? Yes. 4. When is her dad's birthday? His friends at the police station are having a surprise party for my dad's birthday this year. Really? When is it? In August, on the 16th. And when is your birthday? On the 12th of December. And yours? In April, on the 28th. 5. What will Holly get her dad for his birthday? Have you decided on a present for your dad? Well, I was thinking about buying him a belt, but Mum said he has a lot of those. How about getting him a torch? He could use one of those. No, all the police officers have them. I know. You can get him tickets to a football match. Great idea. I'll do that. Thanks. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Oh, look at this picture. What a lovely place in the countryside, with birds and flowers. Yes, it is. Well, would you like to colour some of this picture for me? Sure. Can I colour the sky? All right. It should be blue, but you know that already, don't you? Of course. There, I've done it. Can you see the blue sky? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. 
1. Before you color anything else, I'd like you to write something. OK. I'd like that. Well then, I think the bridge needs a name. Can you see the board on it? Yes. Good idea. What do you want to call it? Stone Bridge, because that's what it's made of. That's a great name for it. Two. Would you like to colour one of the flowers now? OK, but there are lots of flowers. Which one? Perhaps the middle one on the right? Actually, no. Colour the tallest one in front of the trees. Oh, yes, on the left. I think you've got a yellow pencil. Use that. Fine. Three. How about colouring one of the ducks next? They're so pretty. And they're having a lazy swim. All right, colour one of them. Which one? The one at the back? Yes, make it green. OK, it's going to look great. Four. Now, I'd like you to write something else on the picture. This beautiful forest needs a name. You're right. Where shall I write it? There's a board behind the duck at the front. Can you see it? It's in front of the flowers. Yes. Write it there. We'll call it Silver Forest. That's a brilliant name. Let me do it now. Great. Thank you. Five. Can I do some more colouring now, please? Yes. I think you should colour a butterfly before we finish. All right. Which one? The one on the right over the flowers? No, not that one. Colour the one in front of the trees. Make it orange. All right. Look, it's so pretty. Yes, it is. Well done. Thank you. Now listen to part five again. One. Before you colour anything else, I'd like you to write something. OK. I'd like that. Well then, I think the bridge needs a name. Can you see the board on it? Yes. Good idea. What do you want to call it? Stone bridge, because that's what it's made of. That's a great name for it. Two. Would you like to colour one of the flowers now? OK, but there are lots of flowers. Which one? Perhaps the middle one on the right? Actually, no. Colour the tallest one in front of the trees. Oh, yes, on the left. I think you've got a yellow pencil. Use that. Fine. Three. How about colouring one of the ducks next? They're so pretty. And they're having a lazy swim. All right, colour one of them. Which one? The one at the back? Yes, make it green. OK, it's going to look great. Four. 
four. Now, I'd like you to write something else on the picture. This beautiful forest needs a name. You're right. Where shall I write it? There's a board behind the duck at the front. Can you see it? It's in front of the flowers. Yes. Write it there. We'll call it Silver Forest. That's a brilliant name. Let me do it now. Great. Thank you. Five. Can I do some more colouring now, please? Yes. I think you should colour a butterfly before we finish. All right. Which one? The one on the right over the flowers? No, not that one. Colour the one in front of the trees. Make it orange. All right. Look, it's so pretty. Yes, it is. Well done. Thank you. That is the end of Flyers 1, Unit 3.